BestBookBits.com brings you the book summary of The Decision by Kevin Hart. In The Decision, Kevin Hart describes how training his mental fitness help him become the success he is today. He believes that anybody who follows the same mental fitness training regime will become a better version of themselves. Kevin provides a wide range of practical tips to help you reach everybody's life goal, living for you. About Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart is an award-winning actor, comedian. Forbes named him the king of comedy. His filmography has earned over $3.5 billion at the box office. On top of this, Kevin is a television producer and CEO of Heartbeat Productions. Your life today is the sum total of your choices. So if you're not happy with it, look back at your choices and start making different ones. Even if you're struck by lightning and injured, you made choices that led you to that spot at a particular time. And you get to choose how you feel about it afterward. Kevin Hart. Part 1. The Fuck Yes Moment Kevin starts his book by going back to his childhood. He describes his mum as having a significant influence on who he is today. His mum had a fantastic work ethic, and Kevin has followed in her footsteps. Having this work ethic means working your hardest in all you do. But it also means working on your mental mindset. Life is a constant series of decisions. Therefore, if you can bring a strong work ethic to your decision making and mindset, you will instantly improve your health and happiness. The Art of Thriving Kevin believes that becoming successful is easier than staying successful. Kevin believes his success is down to his hard work rather than his talent. However, as success is based on hard work, the difficult thing is maintaining his work ethic over a long period. If you start to slack, there will be others ready to work harder than you. Therefore, when we become successful, we cannot take our feet off the pedal. We have to keep working hard so we can keep thriving. Mental Strength Training Kevin describes how people train their bodies physically, but often forget to train their mental strength. Mental strength is about knowing who you are and accepting who you are. Once you have accepted who you are, you can utilize this mindset strengths rather than having a mindset that holds you back. People can engage with mental strength training by staying calm and balanced during difficult circumstances. Hence, we shouldn't shy away from mentally challenging encounters. Instead, we should use them as part of our training. If something negative happens in your life, you must try and stay positive. Staying positive, no matter what, is also part of your mental strength training. Part 2, Know Before You Go. Kevin describes 11 things that we have to release from our minds before we can better ourselves. Each of these things will hold us back in their own way. Number 1, Jealousy. Other people's possessions and accomplishments should not influence you. These things might not be right for you. You might work your whole life to have what someone else has, only to find you were happier before. Number 2, Perfectionism. No perfect person exists. No perfect person exists. Therefore, don't strive for perfection and don't beat yourself up if you make mistakes. Number three, comparison. Comparing yourself to others, whether that is above or below yourself, will always take your focus away from where you need to be. All that matters is that you're doing your best. And number four, unhealthy fear. People are lying if they say they have no fear. However, Some fears are reasonable and others are unhealthy. Unhealthy fears are those that get you worked up even if they're not life-threatening. Number five, fear of failure. One of the worst fears that plagues humans is a fear of failure. We have to let go of this fear so we can strive to be the best version of ourselves. Number six, resistance. Kevin defines resistance as taking yourself off the course of your original plan. We have to fight resistance and stop convincing ourselves that it's okay to betray promises we've made to ourselves. This betrayal will only make things difficult for your mind. Your mind loves familiarity. Number seven, self-doubt. You should never doubt yourself. If you understand who you truly are and the strengths you possess, you can utilize your strengths across all circumstances. Number eight is anger. Do not react to feelings of anger with aggressive behaviors. Instead, Anger should be addressed through analysis and logic. Anger is the enemy of progress. Number nine, blame. Playing the victim will not benefit anybody. You'll be wasting time making excuses when you could be using the experience as an opportunity to grow. 
And number 10, judgment of others. Those that judge can't do, and those that do, don't judge. Those who are successful are not those that judge others. Instead, they are living for themselves. And last, number 11, self-judgment. Self-judgment should only be done productively. Judging yourself against others is not productive, and being harsh on yourself is also not productive. Instead, providing yourself with attainable goals and holding yourself to account is important. Part 3, Orientation. Before we jump into part three, guys, I just want to say a quick thank you for following Best Book Bits over the years. We've done 600 video, written, and audio book summaries, and I appreciate your following. If you want to support Best Book Bits and make us grow, click the link below where you can see some of the links where you can help support the channel. Back to the book summary. Part three, orientation, a pep talk. Kevin suggests that pep talks are one of the most important things for success. Specifically, he says that you should try and ask big enough and positive enough questions. He provides examples of questions that he asks himself to make sure he's maintaining extraordinary performance. What am I building? What is my end game? When I reach my end game, will this really be the end? When I die, what will other people say about me? And what is the legacy I'm leaving for my children? 15 Core Weapons of Mental Toughness if you're too weak to handle failure and disappointment, then you're too weak to handle success, which will only end up damaging your life and happiness. Kevin describes mental toughness as one of the most critical attributes for success. In the decision, Kevin outlines 15 core weapons that he uses to maintain mental toughness. Here are each of the 15 weapons that Kevin talks about in his book. Number one, positive mindset. Your mindset is the most important thing. In each moment, you must decide how you can be positive rather than negative. Number two, what isness? Deal with what is right in front of you. If you cannot change something, you need to accept that and make the best of it. Kevin says we should be like water and allow, adapt, and keep moving. Number three, consistency. Those who are successful are those who are consistent. There may be amateurs who are less naturally talented than those who are successful. However, successful people will be more consistent than amateurs. Once you produce consistently, this will inspire you to become even more consistent. Number four, reliability. As well as being consistent, you want to be reliable. You need to know your schedule and make sure you reliably adhere to this schedule. This might mean you have to say no to people and that is fine. Number five, determination. Kevin describes determination as appreciating your individual journey, respecting how hard you are working and your ability to keep going when things get tough. Number six, cowboying up. Take ownership of your words and actions. You are the only person who can change things in your life. Leaders and champions only reach those stages by taking ownership. People are inspired by and respect those who take ownership. Number seven, Teddy Bearing. Teddy bears are liked by most people and make people feel good. Our lives are all about the relationships we build. Therefore, one of the easiest ways to bring happiness to your life is to help other people be happy. If you radiate happiness, life will give you happiness in return. Number eight, dissatisfaction. You need to be somewhat dissatisfied with your life to develop. You need to identify areas in your life where you can improve and make the changes necessary to improve. Number nine, non-reactivity. The only reason people spread negativity is for a reaction. Therefore, if you avoid reacting, you are nullifying their reasons to attack. Subsequently, they are less likely to continue spreading negativity towards you in the future. Number 10, self-generating power. Self-powership means being a self-starter. You need to stop relying on other people and have the determination to find your inner strength. Number 11, sponginess. You want to soak up the knowledge and experience of those around you. Therefore, you should surround yourself with successful people who are better than you at skills you want to improve on. The smartest people in the room is the person who listens and learns. Number 12, relentability. You want to gain a wide range of opportunities if you are good at making connections and starting conversations. Number 13, eye on the prize. Decide what you want in life and go for it. Do not let others define the prizes that you want to acquire. 
Number 14, put up with things. You must learn to deal with discomfort. The most successful people will have sacrificed much more in their life. Number 15, humility. Stay connected with what matters. Other people's opinions are not important. Other people's opinions are not important. Your achievements and your prizes do make you better than other people. Part 4, mental fitness. Everybody wants to be famous, but nobody wants to do the work. I live by that. You grind hard so you can play hard. At the end of the day, you put all the work in and eventually it will pay off. It could be a year, it could be 30 years. Eventually, your hard work will pay off. The Daily. You want to see real changes in your life? You'll have to transform your everyday approaches. Fuel. We have to feed our bodies with foods that are healthy and make us happy. The foods we eat is very closely connected to our mood. If we eat poorly, we will feel bad. Energy. You should always aim to promote energy flow within your body. Input. Choose the inputs that you have in your life. Silence the things in your life that is distracting and not useful. Company. Some people will pull you down in life. It can be hard to accept that those people, even if you love them, will limit your ability to achieve success. If you choose the right company for you, you will benefit from people who will lift you up. Those people will want you to be happy and are willing to accept you for who you are. Environment. As well as your company, you must choose your environment wisely. Think about the things around you that influence your thoughts. Choose to surround yourself with things that cultivate a positive thought pattern. Solitude. Solitude can bring clarity and stability. Sometimes you just have to disconnect yourself from the people and places around you. Use this time to reconnect with who you are and what is important to you. The work. Success is always about action. Success is is always about action. Every day you should be asking yourself whether you're actually acting on thoughts or are just talking about getting things done. The practices. Besides daily approaches, there are also specific practices you should engage with to improve yourself. Discomfort. You eventually find comfort after a period of discomfort. Therefore, seek out experiences that are uncomfortable but will help you improve. You can be confident in the idea that you'll eventually feel comfortable again. Visualization. You must rehearse the outcomes you want in life. Your emotions will respond to those visualizations and your emotions impact your actions. Energy assessment. You should frequently be checking in with yourself. You need to understand when you're burning out and when you need a rest. Recognizing when you need a rest is vital for excelling. Being your best will help you do your best. Force field. Kevin describes how we used a force field against negative things. Think about negative words from others as their faults rather than yours. If you do this, you will not let their words impact you. Self-challenging. Always ask yourself how you can do better. Iconoclism. You need to challenge the status quo. Only once you have learned your own way of life rather than following others will you excel. Shift from negative to positive. Practice finding the positive in every situation. If you were stuck, you shouldn't get frustrated. Having these situations helps you to overcome similar challenges in the future. And no chips challenge. Try to identify every weakness you have in your life. For example, if you rely on takeaway to deal with negative emotions, in this instance, you should try and give up takeaway for an entire month. After engaging with all these practices, Kevin recommends readers take up the challenge. The challenge is for readers to spend 30 days without making a single complaint. Doing this will have a profound impact on your life. Part 6, the last part, victory. Kevin explains that success, money and fame should never be the end goal of your life. These things are enjoyable signposts that let you know you are heading in the right direction in life. Everybody's goal in life should be to live your life for you. This means living a life that is meaningful and purposeful. Everybody wants success in something, whether it's in work, love, play, finances, family, or an inner struggle. But success doesn't come instantly. Life has a process of rejecting you to test you and prepare you to win. And that's a wrap on the book summary of Decision by Kevin Hart. If you want the written PDF summary, click the link below and I will personally send you this PDF in your email box. 
If you got value from this summary and all the other summaries I've done, up to 600 video, audio, and written book summaries, check the links below where you can support and sponsor Best Book Bits growth in the future by checking out our products and services we have, such as eBooks, books, courses, we've got coaching packages, anything and everything for you to consume. Hope you got something from this. Love to hear your thoughts. Comment below. Take care. Have an amazing day. See you soon.